In this video, I will show you how to use the new Rumba layer workflow. First let's reference a horse asset. By default, Rumba creates a layer named like that asset. All the asset controllers are assigned to that layer. If you don't want Rumba to create a layer when you reference an asset, you can turn off that behavior using that option. Create layer for new assets. Now, I import a second character, and I don't have any layer for it. Without a layer, I can't move the character or change any of its attributes. To select all the channels of my asset, I click on one of its controller and press Ctrl A. I can now create a new layer like that, for the selected channels. Let's rename it. I have now a layer for my second character. Now, I can move it, change its scale and add animation keyframes. In that new version, there is no active layer anymore. You simply animate and the keys are directly set on the right layer. Another way to create a layer for an asset is to select the Asset node, go to the Layer menu and choose Create Asset Layer. Using that method, you get a layer group that follow the selection set structure of the asset. Now when I key a character controller, the keys go to the right sub-layer. In the case I have multiple layers for the same controller like here, you can use the editable button to control where the animation is modified. If you disable that editable button, the layer is still active, but its animation can't be modified. So if I select something and press S, the keys go to the second layer because the first one is not editable. Let's now create an empty layer. You can also directly add controllers, like those two ones, just pressing this Add button on the layer. That command adds the selected channels to the layer. A middle click on the layer selects the assigned controllers. Selecting the layer highlights the same controllers. Finally, that button removes the selected channels from the layer. Another way to create animation layers is to use the library. Let's import an animation from the library. Importing an animation from the library creates a new layer. Let's rename it. I now create a second layer with a secondary head animation. Here the result is not so great, because the head animation is blended over the walk cycle animation. The top layer animation overrides part of the walk cycle. Let's use a different blending mode for the top layer, like the additive mode. The animation of the top layer is now added to the one from the bottom layer, and the two layers work as expected. Let's import a third animation. First, I select the whole animation with a double click and move it at the end of the sequence. I also change the layer color. Now, I like to make a transition between the two previous layers to this new kick animation. To do that, I need my top layer to be in blend mode, which is the case here, to override the two bottom layers. And I have to animate the layer's weight attribute, to activate my top layer at the right moment. When this attribute is set to zero, the layer is disabled. 
When it is set to 1, the layer is fully activated. Let's animate that weight. First the weight is set to 0. Then, I put a first keyframe here and a second one there with a weight value of 1. So, at the beginning of the animation, we get the result of the bottom layers, then the third layer is activated and overrides the bottom layer's animation. Let's now merge our layers. You can merge multiple layers in a bottom layer using three different methods. The first method keeps the timing of the destination layer. The second method keeps the timing of both source and destination layers. The third one bakes the animation and produces keyframes at every frames. Here we first merge the two bottom layers using the second method to keep the timing of both animation. Then, we merge the third one using the same method. And here is the final result. It also possible to group layers together. To do that, simply select the layers you want to group and use this create group layer command, or press Ctrl G. It creates a group of layers. Let's rename it with the name of my asset. Horse. I can now continue to work with a single layer. Let's see now how we can reorganize the layers. To move a layer, use the middle mouse button and move it around. You can drop it between other layers, or over a layer. In that case, a group is created for the both layers. That's all for today, thanks for watching.